to this special edition of Freak Previews and to the Festival of Claymation. Well, Tonight, we'll... in this program, we will review the best and most award-winning short films produced by Will Vinton Productions in the always fascinating process of claymation. Thank you, Rex. Claymation is a stop-motion animation technique. You know, it, it amazes 24... me the kind of patience these people must have to subject themselves to this grueling but always delightful process. Anyway, let's watch together. Bye. After the cosmic bang which set our universe in motion, after the fusing of clouds of gas into billions of giant stars, the gases that hovered about one star took form, and the planet Earth was born. In the beginning, it was a dreary place, dry, barren, and airless. But natural forces were at work, and remarkable changes would occur. A veil of gases rose over the earth, then cooled, condensed, and fell in rain. Millions of years of rain. Oceans formed. A bit of this and a bit of that drifted for millions of years until an extraordinary thing occurred. Molecules began... <clears throat> creating more of their own kind. The chain of life had begun. For millions of years, living things fell to the ocean floor. Billions of creatures of shell and bone falling, compressing, evolving to organic mud, and eventually to oil and gas. Then plants appeared on the land. And when they died, they returned to the earth. Hmm? Millions of years of vegetation pressing and compressing one layer upon another, turning finally to layers of coal hidden deep within the earth. Meanwhile, in the sea, life was discovering new forms. It was a process of trial and error. returned to the planet and to the elements from which they were made. Then came new creatures that carried their young inside their bodies. Some were swift and some were strong, but one of them was clever. Hmm? he entered was rich now, blessed with the vast resources that evolved from all previous life forms and matter. Oil and gas on the ocean floor, coal deep within the earth, minerals embedded in the rock, and vast forests. From barren rock and Eden, that was the legacy of a billion years, in a nutshell.
Next up is a wonderful, wonderful film. Not really, Rex. No. I mean, it starts well enough, but the consistently dark substrat is convulsing through a sea of allegorical details. It is talky, insufferable, the wrong color, difficult to follow, needlessly gory, and probably costs a whacking lot of money. Showing a relentless, continual, and mystifying submergence into the Freudian id. Rex? Uh, a, a simply wonderful, wonderful film. God stepped out on space, and he looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything, blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. Then God smiled, and the light broke, and the darkness rolled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. <laughs> Then God reached out and took the light in his hands, and God rolled the light around in his hands until he made the sun, and he set that sun ablazing in the heavens. And the light that was left from making the sun, God gathered it up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and the stars. Then down between the darkness and the light, God hurled the world. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down, and the sun was on his right hand, and the moon was on his left. The stars were clustered about his head, and the earth was under his feet. And God walked. And where he trod, his footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. And he said, bring forth, bring forth. And quicker 
heaven, God could drop his hand. Fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forests and the woods, and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then God walked around and God looked around on all that he had made. He looked at his son and he looked at his moon and he looked at his little stars. He looked at his world with all its living things and God said, I'm lonely still. sat down on the side of a hill where he could think by a deep wide river he's down with his head in his hands God thought and thought until he thought I'll make me a man up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay, and by the bank of the river, he kneeled him down, and there, the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the most far corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand, this great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust toiling over a lump of clay till he shaped it in his own image. in claymation. A great example of how Our they... thumbs down a cinematic sellout. Wrong, wrong. Even you can oh. <laughs> I can hardly see it all. They're artsy, pretentious, and pseudo-intellectual. And you did that on purpose. I did not. Uh, roll the film. Rod Buckers. Lizard Brett.
In watching the next film, one can't help but marvel at all the countless layers woven with such skill that the humor always rings true. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, four! Oh, we're just a couple of American guys. He's all ears, he's all eyes. Thinking and a grinning now, don't you know? At the corn and potato show. Corn Pone, did you know that potatoes are America's favorite vegetable? They're growing in all 50 states, and there are thousands of varieties in the world. Hey, Spud, you seen one french fry? You seen them all! And listen, old great bakeable one, a bushel of corn will produce two and a half gallons of ethanol, and that means cleaner air! Oh, shucks, Cobber! An acre of potatoes will yield 1,200 gallons of that stuff, and it's a renewable resource! Woo! Reduced emissions! Pay attention here, Chips. Corn is the leading source of sweeteners here in the good old USA. I'll admit it, cornball. But get back down to earth now before your ears pop. Now we're the biggest foods around. Except I grow up and he grows down. But together we can feed the world, you know. edition of the festival of yeah. claymation, claymation.